Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to check the strength of a password using C Sharp. So let's get right into it. Firstly, in our main method, we have got string password input equals this lovely password. This tutorial does not show how to get user input, only how to validate it. There's an eye up in the corner if you want to know how to get user input. It works perfectly with this tutorial. Then we are going to do console.writeLine. Password strength, password input. We are going to call our password strength function and print out the result. And then console.readLine stops the console from closing. So let's define our password strength function. So we are going to do public static int, password strength, string password. So we're going to return an integer. This is going to be a score. The higher the score, the stronger the password. Then we're going to do password strength as the function name and string password is the one parameter and it's going to be the password we want to check. So how are we going to rate the strength of a password? Well in this tutorial we're going to use the length. We're also going to check if there's a lowercase letter, an uppercase letter, an exclamation mark and a number. And the more of these criteria that are met the higher the score. So let's go into it. So firstly we are going to do this bit of code. We are going to do int score equals zero, int length equals password dot length. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the length and depending on the size we're going to allot points. So if the length of the password is greater than or equal to eight and less than or equal to ten, we're going to give them one point. If the password is between 11 and 15 characters long, we give them two points. If the password is greater than or equal to 16 characters long, we give them three points. The longer the password, the more secure it is. So you want to give more points if the password is longer. Obviously, we don't want the password to be too long, otherwise the user's not going to remember it. So you don't want to incentivize passwords that are as long as the Harry Potter series in word count. But you can customize this to however you like. Underneath that, we are going to do four if statements. If rejects.ismatch password and this little bit, little bit of code. This is a rejects by the way. And these rejects will be in the description below. Basically this rejects is checking if a letter exists in the password. If it does, give a point. This rejects is checking if there's an uppercase letter in the password. At least if at least one exists, give a point. This rejects is going to check if there's a number or a digit in the password. If there is, give a point. Now this rejects, you might be thinking, Max, what is it? Well, this rejects is actually going to be us checking if there's a character in this password that isn't a letter or a number. Basically, a special character. If there is, give a point. Now, by the way, you're only going to get one point if you have a lowercase letter. So let's say you had five lowercase a's. You'd only get one point for that. The same will apply for all of the other categories. After that, do return score to return the score to whatever we call the function. And that's it for this tutorial. So make sure you have system and regular expressions imported. We do not need these other libraries. I do not know why they are there. Save your work. And let's hit play. So we got a score of 7. So this is longer than 16 characters. It contains a number. Well, it contains many numbers. But it contains a number. It contains an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, and a special character. So the length gives us 3 points. And then we get 1 point because we have all of the other types of characters. Why don't we take off the exclamation mark and then put a few A's? Well, we get six because we no longer have a special character. Now let's remove all of the lowercase A's and replace them with uppercase A's. Now we only have a score of five. Now. Let's remove all of the A's, but then put in some numbers so the password is still long enough. And now we only have four, because obviously we get three for the length, and then we get one because we have a bunch of numbers. Now, what if we do just one, two, three, four, five, six? We only get one point 
It's not even long enough to get any points for the length. It's literally only getting one point because of the digits. And that's basically it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more C-Sharp tutorials. Thanks for watching.